Today we continue with a treasure in our heart and keep it in heaven for you. And, and you know, you are collecting a treasure as you spread the gospel. Your treasures in preserved in heaven for you, so you have nothing to be ashamed of. Go out and share what you have received and start collecting a real treasure, not something that are destroyed. And if you have seen the programs before here, you know that the treasure in heaven there are no thief coming and take it and nothing can destroy it it's keep there for you be with us today my name is Tommy Josephson follow us on Facebook Instagram and YouTube and if you like this program give us a thumb up and subscribe share this program and give us your commentary and follow us in this today program. In Colossians chapter 1 and verse 3 to 6, we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love you have for all the signs, the faith and the love that springs from the hope that you is stored up for you in heaven and that you have already heard about in, in the word of truth, the gospel that has come to you. All over the world this gospel is being fruit and growing just as it's been doing among us since the day you heard it and understood God's grace in all its truth. Amen. So here we see the passage here is talking about, you know, how the faith in the Lord and, and, and it's, it's it, 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 uh, faith and love that springs from the hope and the, it's storied up for you in heaven what you are doing what you are investing what you are working for in the kingdom of God it's making a treasure in heaven that are stored up for you that is waiting for you this is the best investment you ever can do is to really to share the gospel or to help someone that are sharing the gospel is to be a part of what God is doing to to really focus on the kingdom first amen like Jesus say say seek first the kingdom of God and all the rest will be given to you hallelujah all the rest will be given to you amen and in the second Timothy, Paul says this in, in chapter 2 and verse 15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Be a workman in the kingdom of God. Not only sitting there and consume what somebody else doing. Be a workman for the kingdom of God. Start to, to uh, collecting your treasure, not somebody else's treasure, your treasure. Amen. Share your wealth with the one that's working for, for the kingdom. But not only that, doing the work self. Do what you can do. Be involved. Be activated. Do what it is needed to be done. Be a workman who does not need to be ashamed. What not means? Because ashamed will you be if you don't do your best. But you will not be ashamed if you have done your best. Sometimes it can not be best. Uh, sometimes you do things it's not work out. But you have really do your best. And that make you not ashamed. 
But if you only, ah, we will see if it works or maybe not works, ah, maybe ah, it not works, I feel so ashamed. You don't need to feel ashamed for that. Because you have tried, your, you have really do your best. So long that you have do your best, you will not feel ashamed. And, and that is very important to understand. And he says that wherever the gospel has been preached, wherever the gospel has been shared around the world, the gospel is bearing what is giving fruit and it's growing. So when you get involved to share the gospel, if you get involved to be a part of, to see the gospel be spread out, you will start to see the fruit in your life, you will start to see the fruit in another people's life that are receiving the gospel. Everyone that receiving the gospel, they will start to be bearing the fruit of the gospel in the life and you are a part of that you are an involved in that you are a workman uh, that is not ashamed at all like paul says to the roman i am not ashamed of the gospel and then there's the same thing to be a workman for the gospel i am not ashamed of to share this gospel amen hallelujah and he says in, in, in Peter, he says this in 1 Peter 1 and 4, and into the inheritance that can never perish, spoiled or fade, keep in heaven for you. Your inheritance, your inheritance as a workman of God, to doing his work, to be focused on the kingdom first, is keep in heaven. Your treasure are kept in heaven for you. One day when you come there, the treasure is there and waiting on you. Are they not wonderful? And, and let us pray a little shortly together here right now. I thank you Lord Jesus for everyone uh, following is, us on this program. I thank you for that you, you meet them right now. You meet them right now with your anointing, with your power, with your knowledge. Open the eyes of the heart to understand and to see clearly everything that you have for them and all the good blessings you have for them and how you from this moment of will increase their walk with you Jesus in their life in the name of Jesus Christ and we are releasing we are releasing our shareful heart to share with one another to share with the poor to share into the kingdom of God. Out of the small or the great or the middle great wealth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that you following us in today's program. And I believe that uh, you can continue to be a part of this communion by subscribing this channel, following us on Facebook, or you can join us on the Patreon. And there you pay a little bit every month, but you can be more involved behind the scene and see what's going on here on Praying For You TV. And at the same time, you that only following, you can at the same time be, feel free, send your prayer request. Go to our website, there you have all information that you need about us to learn to know us more. God bless you.